Now you're a veteran in the league, so you've seen a lot go on as far as luxury tax, different trades, how much money teams have to spend. Have you noticed, I mean, is this the biggest change right now this past year that you've seen? Well, the quote unquote recession is affecting everyone. Uh, not only the NBA players as far as trying to get big time contracts, but the fans. I mean, a lot of fans can't really afford to go to as many games as they want. Uh, but we as the NBA is trying to make it uh, more friend friendly as possible, lowering some tickets if need be. But hopefully uh, we can continue to, to, to pick up uh, this, this upcoming season. There's been some talk of the NBA actually bringing back the amnesty rule, which for you is what essentially benefited the Spurs, you helping them lead to a 2007 championship. Do you think the amnesty rule is something right now that would help the NBA? Well, I don't know. I mean, you still eventually have to pay the salaries. Uh, I was some. I was someone, like you said, who was part of the, the amnesty rule, and it, it brought me to San Antonio, and it ultimately got me a championship. But I think David Stern is doing a good job with the league, along with uh, Billy Hunter and the uh, Players Association, to do what's right for the league. And I think when it's all said and done, they'll they'll make a great decision. Now we talked to Juwan Howard, obviously Lindsey Hunter going into his 17th season. You guys are kind of racing. How many more seasons are we going to see out of Michael Finley? With, with Juwan, although we're the same age, he came in a year before me. But I can speak for Juwan as well. As long as our bodies are healthy, our mind is mentally still into playing at the ultimate level, I think we're going to continue to play because one thing we do have in common is we truly love this game and we can continue to play it.